Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And what I have for you here is a nice, lovely logarithm question. So hopefully you recognize what's going on here. And I'm going to explain the problem. So what we want to do is calculate log base 5 of 3, or log of 3 base 5. Uh, of course, feel free to use your calculator. But uh, I have right here that many of you are going to make an error, not because uh, you're going to type something wrong into your calculator. You just don't know how to maybe figure this out. This is not that difficult of a, pro of a uh, problem. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then we're, we're going to go over a very, very basic but extremely important thing about logarithms. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so log uh, base five of three or log three base five, what is the answer? One little quick uh, comment here. Um, if you haven't seen this, you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, this is uh, uh, generally um, taught at like the algebra two level, college algebra level, certainly the pre-calculus level. So if you're taking right now, like let's say algebra one, pre-algebra, you may not um, have yet, you know, obviously uh, seen logarithms and that's okay, but stick around anyways, because you'll learn something. But let's go and take a look at the answer. So the answer is the following, and I kind of rounded off here. 0.682. There are other digits, but if your uh, first three digits is 0.682, well, that indicates that you got this correct. So let's go ahead and celebrate with a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100%, and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you understand the change of base formula for logarithms. So some of you are saying, what are you even talking about? Well, let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. So uh, what is logarithms, though? Let's just have a quick, quick um, uh, review, some basic things. For those of you that may not be familiar with logarithms, the value of logarithms. So let's take uh, a problem like this. Let's say we have x squared is equal to 9. Okay, we'll take this simple equation, and then we'll take uh, 2 to the x is equal to 9. Okay, let me erase this for a second. So let's take a look at this equation. Okay, what type of equation is this? Hopefully you recognize this as a quadratic equation. Okay, so it's x to the second power. So x here, when we're looking at this, this power, uh, the variable that we're solving for is the base. Okay, so how do we solve this particular equation? Pretty simple. All we need to do is take the square root of both sides. We're going to get x is equal to positive and negative 3. Okay, no problem there. But when we switch um, the objective here, uh, right here, let's just make sure we understand this as well. 2 to the third power. 2 is the base. 3 is the exponent. The entire thing is a power, right? So we have 2 to the third power, but a power has uh, various parts to it, the base and the exponent. So in this first example here, I'm solving for the base, okay, in this particular power. So no problem there. Uh, pretty simple stuff, and uh, this is stuff that you would see like in Algebra 1. But how about this scenario? Okay, well, this is a completely different situation. I'm just reversing these um, numbers. I'm putting 2 where the base is at, and the x now is up in the exponent. So here we are solving uh, for a variable that's in the exponent, and this is a whole different ball game. Okay, so this right here, this type of equation, we call this an exponential equation, would require the use of logarithms. And that's uh, probably one of the primary uses of logarithms. And there's so many uh, uses for logarithms. But one of the primary things that you need logarithms for is to solve exponential equations. So let's take a look at this equation here. What we need to do is figure out what 2 to what power is 9, right? So if we go like 2 to the first, well, that's 2. Well, 2 squared, uh, that is, of course, 4. 2 cubed is, of course, 8. Uh, so we're pretty close, right? So we're thinking, okay, well, 2 to the fourth, maybe? Well, 2 to the fourth is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 16. So now we went too far. We're looking for 2 to what power is 9, okay? So it's pretty close to 3, so it would be 3 point something or the other. But in order to get the actual answer, 
we're going to need logarithms, right? So you absolutely need to understand logarithms in mathematics. Again, this is uh, typically taught at like the Algebra 2 level uh, and beyond. Okay, so that's just a quick introduction for those of you that don't know logarithms. And if you look on your calculator, if you have a scientific calculator, you'll see these two buttons, L-O-G and L-N. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about those buttons right now. Okay, so the L-O-G button, this is what we call the common logarithm. This is log base 10. Okay, log base 10. Matter of fact, before I do this, let me just go ahead and just do one other quick thing, just in case some of you out there forgot. Um, and hopefully you like bacon and eggs. You're saying, what is this guy even talking about? He's all over the place. Boy, I should have watched another YouTube video. Well, just hold on one second. So here is the definition of log. Okay, bacon, B-A-E. Okay, bacon and eggs, B-A-E. That's how you kind of remember that. So B is the base. So remember I had like two cubed means two times two times two. So two cubed is eight. Okay. So let's talk about the parts here, right? So two is the base. Three is the exponent and eight is the answer. Okay. So if I wanted to write two cubed is equal to eight, if I wanted to express this as a logarithm, I could do this by writing log, okay? Now we're just gonna follow this bacon and eggs formula. We'll put the base, so this is base two. So we'll put the two right there, okay? So this is the base, that's where we write that little subscript. Now the next number here is gonna be our answer. So that is eight, okay? And then the next number, this is gonna be equal to uh, B, uh, bacon and eggs, that's gonna be equal to the exponent. So the exponent up here is three, okay? So log, uh, 8 base 2 is equal to 3. Or log base 2, 8 is equal to 3 because you can rewrite this using the bacon and eggs formula as uh, a base to a certain exponent is equal to an answer. Okay, so hopefully all this is like review for you. And for those of you that are studying logarithms and you weren't, you know, kind of shaky on this, uh, then hopefully this helps you out. Okay, by the way, if you need help with logarithms and really need to master exponential functions, and you do need to uh, know this stuff if you're like in Algebra 2, go to my Algebra 2 course or College Algebra course or Pre-Calculus course. I have complete full instruction, not only on all this, but all the different type of problems that you're going to face on this. And one of the type of problems you're gonna face is a change of base uh, situation. So anyway, so on our calculator, we only have uh, the common log, that's log base 10, okay? We can calculate numbers uh, that are log base 10. So if I gave you a problem, hey, find log base 10 of uh, 7. Well, I got this button there, no problem. But our question is what? Our question is log base 5. So you might be saying to yourself, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, where is uh, log base 5 button on our calculator? Well, it doesn't exist. All we have is log base 10. And then we have this other awesome button, the LN button, and that is log base E. Those are the only two bases we have. We want log base, um, again, what is that, base 5, right? So log base 5, we want log base 5, but our calculator only has this log base E and log base 10. E, by the way, is the natural base E. It's like 2.71. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the decimal. It's somewhere around in this range, and it was extremely important in mathematics, but that's it, right? So we want to find log base 5. We only have log base 10, log base E on our calculator. How do we do this problem? Well, don't panic. What we need to know is the following. All right, so here, again, this problem, you're like, okay, I need to calculate this logarithm, but I need a log base 5 button. There doesn't this, this button doesn't exist on our calculator. All we have is log base 10 and log base E. So what do we do? Well, what we need to do is use this thing right here, okay? So when you're studying logarithms, there's a lot of different properties of logarithms, and this is one that you need to understand. This is what we call the change of base formula, okay? So log, if you want to find the logarithm of a number to a particular base, you can simply just go this way. So log base B of A, or log A base B, is equal to log A, and by the way, this log A can be the common logarithm, okay? Or the natural logarithm, doesn't make a difference, so it's log A over log B, and this is how we do this problem. 
Okay, so now this is going to become super easy. So log um, 3 base 5, all we need to do is write it this way using that change of base formula. That's equal to log 3 over log 5. Okay, we're just following this formula here. Now we can go into our calculator and use log base 10. Just use the LOG button or the LN button. It doesn't make a difference. So take that uh, log, uh, log of 3, okay, common log, log base 10 of uh, 3, divide that by uh, common log of 5, and you're going to get the answer 0.682 and change. Okay, so hopefully this is a interesting and helpful video. Again, if you're at these levels of mathematics, algebra 2, college algebra, pre-calculus, you need to master logarithms. Logarithms are crucial in mathematics. And, you know, hopefully you had a good initial introduction to logarithms, like why we need them, what they are. You know, you always want to approach mathematics starting with a real basic understanding of the concepts involved. Just don't try to be like, oh, I'm studying these things. I need to do this. I don't really understand what they are. I'm just trying to le learn the rules or procedures. That's not a good approach. Okay, so again, if you need help with logarithms, exponential equations, et cetera, et cetera, check out those courses. But hopefully this little video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.